Welcome back to my Euro Truck Simulator playthrough series episode 55. We are currently at a wet and foggy post speed in Linz and we are on our way back to Germany to deliver 33,000 pounds of goat's cheese to Rosmark in Munich. A total journey of 135 miles for a payment of 124 euros or 104 pounds sterling. Hopefully the rain will not last that long because if there is one thing that we do not like, it is driving in the pouring down rain. Whilst waiting for his load, Sammy has taken in some of the sights. He has had some food at a cafe of the Danube River, looked in wonderment at some of the amazing Baroque architecture, and he has been into the Lentos Kunst Museum and had a nosy at some of the modern art on display. But now it is time to get down to business and earn himself some more money towards his goal of owning his own truck and being in business for himself. He is a long way from that goal, though so he has many more miles to cover. With the cheapest truck available on the market being a man at 84,221 pounds, he is a long way from that goal. He cannot take a loan out from the bank due to his terrible credit rating after his painting and decorating business went bust, and his partner left him with all the debts from that failed venture. So this is, in a way, Sammy trying to build up his rating again. Also, due to his misdemeanors in Norway a few months ago, would banks really trust him? The rain seems to have passed, had a feeling that it wouldn't last too long, so we have now left Linz and are due to get on the A1 towards Salzburg, going west towards Germany. Once we hit the ring road at Salzburg, we will jump over the border into Germany, where we will pick up Autobahn 8 into the center of Munich. Sammy has not had much in a way of a social life since he has been concentrating and working extremely hard to repair his name after what went down in Moldy. Sammy was sent to prison after an encounter with whom he thought was a lady of the night, Tetty Sammy. He has since worked non-stop after he was sacked by Big Mother Trucker's employment agency. But he has since signed with another agency based in the United Kingdom, called HGGG Drivers for Nout. Basically, he now has to work for less pay, but while still building up his trucking portfolio. So, Sammy, tell us what else has happened in the last few months. Well, you know that I do not like talking whilst working. But ever since what had happened, me on Fat San have split up. After, I found that she had been seeing Dippy Frank when I was in Nick. I weren't happy, but she can now do one. She was bad news anyway, and was only seeing me for my money. It was horrible going to her house, and it stunk all the time. When I used to go there, it was always untidy, and there was never any washing up done. I had to clean up while she sat on her fat ass eating chips and crisps and biscuits, watching films on Flitnecks. So yeah, that Trump Dippy Frank is welcome to her. My mom said that I was better off without her, and she was nothing but trouble. So Sammy, you seem to have gone into some detail there. What was her house like? Please tell us a bit more. Well, it was a terraced house in Toxteth. Seriously, there was about 12 houses in the whole street that had someone living there. It seemed more like a bomb site. I don't know whether it was due to be pulled down or what. It needed doing. When you walked into the living room, it had a dirty manky cream carpet, which looked like it had never been oovered, full of toys and dirty marks and spills. The walls were half and half with a nasty green striped wallpaper that needed sending back to the 80s and a sticky cream leather settee that had seen better days. There was also a brown chair that she must have picked up when Simone moved. The kitchen had a Lexi oven that was full of grease and burned on food. I had seen better ones in tip. I felt sorry for the kids cause she just was a slob anyway. I don't want to talk about her anymore. Can we just listen to some music? It is completely up to you Sammy as this is about you. But if I am going to be completely honest with you, it just seems like you still have a lot of anger there after what had happened. Well, that's just your opinion. I don't care about her anymore, and I don't want to talk anymore.
we have finally arrived in Munich. It is now for Sammy to perform a perfect parking maneuver. If you made it this far, thank you. Just remember to like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and happy trucking till next time. Goodbye.